What is going on everyone, Nick here and welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been quite a long time since I've actually uploaded here on the channel. My apologies again for that, but frankly there's not been a whole lot of stuff that I've been really interested in talking about, but this one is going to be a bit of a doozy. Uh, so in this video we are going to be talking about these full spoilers that have now revealed for Alien Romulus. So if you don't want to know anything going into the movie, apart from maybe watching a teaser trailer or two, you should probably click off this video. But if you don't care about spoilers and you want to know a lot of details about this upcoming Alien movie, since we basically don't know pretty much anything about it up until now, then you should stick around. Anyways, recently there was a test screening for Alien Romulus in California, and it seems like a lot of stuff has leaked out about the movie. I mean, there's tons of stuff. That's why it actually took me a couple of days to kind of process all this information, because honestly, I was debating whether or not I wanted to make this video, because I kind of wanted to go into the movie not really knowing much about it. You know, I think I was spoiled a lot with Covenant and The Predator, the last couple of big movies that came out, because I knew a lot about them going into it. I knew someone that actually had gone to a test screening for Alien Covenant and for The Predator, Predator, and I also had my hands on a copy of the early script for The Predator, so, you know, with the, both of those movies, I kind of knew them like the back of my hand already before even seeing any piece of marketing for them. So it kind of took away all the suspense and the surprise uh, leading up to them, you know, talking about them and covering them on different channels and stuff. I, I just knew so much about them that when I finally saw the movies, it was, you know, like I had already seen them. Now, <laughs> Sadly, with Romulus, it's going to be sort of the same case, almost, because of all these leaks coming out of these test screenings. I'll kind of run down the plot here, and then I'll sort of talk about how it ties into the prequel movies, how it ties into the original Alien, because it was said that this one was going to take place before Aliens, but after the first Alien, so kind of in between that space of, you know, 57 years when Ripley was drifting through space. So, basically, it seems like Alien Romulus will show us close up to a new planet and a gritty civilization. The characters in the movie are going to be leaving this planet to go investigate this abandoned space station, which is named the Romulus. Apparently it was a Weyland-Yutani space station where they were experimenting on xenomorphs, and they actually recovered the Big Chap alien from the first movie, and that's where they reverse engineer the Accelerant, or the Black Goo, as it was named among fandom, from the prequel movies, and that's how they kind of reverse engineer that with, you know, the AIs on board, and they figure out, you know, how to come up with a sort of thing that they use as like a miracle, like, cure-all drug, basically. So that part you know, sticks out to me. That's kind of interesting how they're using the black goo from the prequels. I really thought that that wasn't going to come up again in these movies. I was hoping it wasn't going to come up because it became such a weird MacGuffin, you know, in Prometheus it acted one way and then in Covenant it acted a completely different way. So it was like this, you know, thing that just sort of did its own thing whenever the writers needed it to. It also acted differently, I believe, in the Fire and Stone comic books that Dark Horse produced that were also tying into the Prometheus story line. So that's one big, you know, thing that was kind of shocking to me. Another thing that's weird is that the android that's aboard the Romulus station will bear the likeness of the late Sir Ian Holm, who played Ash in the original Alien movie. But he's playing a new character named Rook, and this character is, again, going to be brought to life using what I'm guessing is a stand-in actor on set and then augmented through AI like they have for a lot of different movie projects and TV projects over the past couple of years. So that's another really big controversial thing, you know, bringing back an actor that has passed away in a role. I think that's a little weird. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That's definitely one of the things that stuck out to me. That was a big red flag. I, I really don't know how to feel about that. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. Using the likeness of an actor that has passed away. I guess it makes sense, sort of, because he's an android and, you know, as we knew, they used the same facial models for David and Walter. They look the same, so having this android look the same as Ash, but named Rook, I mean, it makes sense in universe that they would have the same androids with different faces and stuff, but I just, you know, the real world implications of using an actor that's passed away, I guess, with AI technology, it's still something that we haven't really come to terms with yet because of all this, you know, new sort of deep faking and stuff. It's definitely going to be something that people are going to be talking about. So yeah, the other big thing though is that the fact that the Xenomorph from the original Alien movie that was dubbed Big Chap 
is going to be coming back and going to be basically a big plot point in this movie because that's how the scientists aboard the Romulus station reverse engineer the black goo and create their own face huggers and xenomorphs that are going to be a little bit different than the ones that we're used to. You know, we've heard from other scoopers and, you know, leaks on the internet that the xenomorphs and the face huggers and chest bursters and, you know, all the aliens that we're going to be seeing in this movie might share resemblance and might be also different and you know new traits added to them as they do with all these movies they're always you know constantly updating and making adjustments to how the alien looks so i think that's interesting i again think that's going to be a big controversial talking point about the fact that the big chap survived maybe it wasn't you know alive or anything but it was probably dead or in some sort of like frozen states floating around in space i guess that's how they find it it's a little bit of a deus ex machina i guess but who knows i have to see how all this is handled within the movie you know it's one thing to read about like a plot and you know read it and everything but how they actually translate it to film is another thing so maybe it could be handled better in the movie it also seems like this movie is going to have a lot of weaponry in it the character that Kaylee Spaney plays is going to be described as a badass female heroine that is going to be basically our new Ripley. She's going to have a weapon that resembles the M40A1A pulse rifle, but it's going to be white in color and have, you know, new equipment and new features to it. So that's kind of cool. I like that they're bringing back, you know, weaponry in these movies and new weapons because that's always a nice bonus with, you know, these new alien entries. I love that about Aliens Fireteam Elite that they had a lot of new weapons that we hadn't seen in universe and it made sense within the universe so that's basically all the big stuff we have here you know it is connecting to the prequels in some way it is bringing back the big chap from the original movie there's going to be a new android named rook that will resemble ian holmes ash and that's how it's all going to sort of connect you know to this larger story these group of scavengers go to this abandoned way station named the romulus where Wayland yutani was experimenting and creating their own xenomorphs and face huggers and that's where the story really kicks off our characters are introduced to these aliens and they have to find a way to survive this alien infestation so let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below it's a lot to take in i'm sure that we're going to be getting a trailer for this movie very soon you know alien day is just around the corner it's coming up next month so you have to imagine that sometime between now and then we're going to be seeing a trailer for the movie as it is dropping later this summer. If you guys are new to the channel and you like this video, subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I drop new content. If you want to hit me up on social media to talk about any of this stuff, you can find me in the links down below. And with all that being said, I'll catch you guys next time.